Well, the sun's trying to come up over the horizon. Gorgeous sunrise this morning. Do you want to eat, doggy? Come on, let's get breakfast. Oh, tired doggy. You have a long night. Come on. Got to feed the dog inside. We've never been able to get him eat regularly. And then we started feeding him inside in some bad weather recently, and we figured out that he always eats when we bring him in. Come on, copy. Hurry up. Well, I don't really know where to start with my vlog this morning. Um, I actually debated a lot about doing this vlog after I did the last one. And so many people said they didn't like it. And I got dislikes on it so fast. I was like, okay, fine. You know, you guys don't want me vlogging. Uh, which I understand. I don't really enjoy vlogs. But it's an easy way for me to, to let you know what's going on in my channel. Quick updates. I think are good on a channel. So I'll try to keep this short. But uh, anyway, the reason I decided to go ahead and do this is I got to look into my analytics. And while my vlogs don't get a lot of views, according to my analytics, people actually watch them. They have the highest percentage of completion of watching of all my videos. Uh, most of my videos, people watch less than four minutes of. But my vlogs, they actually watch all of it. And I actually have more likes on my vlogs when you look at the ratio than any of my other videos. So while they don't get very many views, comparatively, um, the people that watch them actually watch it in completion, and they actually take the time and click the like button. So that means there is definitely people out there that appreciate them. So every once in a while, I'm going to do a quick little vlog. I'm going to keep it short. So there's several things I wanted to talk about. Uh, the last two weeks, I've been dealing with silage harvest. I have not even gone out on a single uh, on-site call or even turned one hour or even build for one hour of time in my welding business. It's been all farming side the last two weeks. Actually, two and a half weeks now. So, um, yeah, no videos because of that. I am way behind on my business, I tell you what. Um, so anyway, there's some things that uh, have been on my mind a lot. Uh, first off, I'm never on Facebook anymore. Facebook has changed how they do their business pages, and I'm really irritated about it. Because I used to be able to follow people. You had just like a regular news feed, like on a private page. You had that for your business page. And I could follow people through my business page and see what they were doing. You know, it's just, it was like having a private page, only it was all set up for business. And it was really nice. Um, they took away the news feed. So my business page is now literally just like a website. Like there's no interaction. I can't comment on people's stuff through it anymore. I can't follow people through the news feed so I thought about it for a couple of weeks and I was like fine I'll just start following people with my private Facebook page you know just like anybody else befriend them you know all that kind of stuff so I went through and started uh, sending friend requests to the people that you know I want to follow a lot of my YouTube subscribers is basically what I was doing through my business and every time I'd click send a friend request or follow, depending on how they have their account set up, it would say, sorry, you're already following this as Wide Vision. You cannot follow it then as a private person as well. So there's absolutely no way for me to see what is going on with all the people that I followed through my business page. Um, so no interaction whatsoever now through my business page. And that is just beyond irritating. So I pretty much stopped using it. <sighs> Um, it was a nice way. I'm thinking about getting Twitter. I see a lot of people doing that on YouTube. Um, so I'm going to try that out, maybe, eventually. So anyway, I want to talk about that real quick. And I already talked about that for three minutes, so i got to edit that down. And I used my backhoe for uh, redoing the electrical lines going into my house. That was fun and game. Um, I'm probably going to do an entire video about that, so I won't talk about it much here. But it's still working. Um, Oh, I got to do a lot of work to it. 
In hindsight, I would say I should have worked on my backhoe instead of doing a wood chipper build. That would have been a much better live project because I could just pull this thing in and work on it. You know, and uh, yeah, because I haven't even looked at the wood chipper since what, May? It's been forever, but backhoe's still working good. And the old welding truck is still running great. Yeah. Working awesome. She doesn't look so good. She needs some paint job. <laughs> uh, but still reliable, still going good. Um, I put military tires on the back, used surplus military tires. Um, golly, I don't know when that was. It's been a while. Um, they're cheap. And I tell you what, they dig in like none other. I, I have been very impressed at where I can go with this truck. Matter of fact, I can go more places with this truck than I can with my four-wheel drive pickup now. So, yeah, putting these tires on the back was just an amazing move. I can, I'm so happy with that now. Also, there's a really cool thing I saw on YouTube. Um, that I really, really want to do. So, since my knuckle crane works off to the side of the truck, and I am basically set this truck up to work over here, this is kind of a little area I work in all the time. Got my toolbox right there, welder's controls right there, the crane controls are right here. I work right here in this little area beside the truck. That's where I do everything. So, I put the winch in, coming off the back. Which, if I want to crane something and winch it in at the same time, I can't do that without running a snatch block back to the corner and over and then my cable's not straight in line. So I was thinking about putting a roller fair lead up here around the winch so I could, you know, come out, turn the cable, and go that way. But I saw this thing called a side puller. If you look online for In The Ditch products, the SP9000, they have a, about a 16-minute video on this thing. This, that thing is what I need for my truck. It would be awesome. But I'm going to go ahead and make myself a simpler version of it. Basically, I'm going to turn this winch 90 degrees so the main pole goes up because right now the pole is designed to come towards the camera. And then there's this little eye swivel pulley thing that is amazing, a super simple design. And the winch can go out and you can actually walk it in a 180 degree area around the truck through that pulley. And I'm going to do that because, yeah, that would just be amazing. So look that video up. Um, in the Ditch Products, the video is about their SP9000. And yeah, mind blown on that. So I'm doing that very, very soon, I think. Also another thing I really want to do is get rid of this toolbox off of here and get my air compressor off of here. The big door in the shop. I did a video on putting this walkthrough gate in. And I moved the cattle guard. Look at that. There's not stuff here. It's nice and clean. Um, that's what this side's not done. I just uh, had to strap some panels up because I had to get it back onto other projects. Uh, but anyway, I am going to build a different cattle guard for here. This one is just too narrow. Uh, literally, the duels on the tractor barely fit inside this cattle guard. I mean, you can see the tire tracks there. You can see the dirt on the pipe. So, I mean, it's, it barely fits in there. But yeah, so I moved the cattle guard. It was clear over here against that red panel, basically. And now it's over here. And the reason I did that is so it is in line with this door of the shop. Okay, so standing at the big door of the shop, looking out that way, you can see the cattle guard is in line with us. And that allows me to drive something big in here, go over the cattle guard, and then I can back it up to this door. Whereas before, we just hit this fence. So I've actually moved that fence further away from the store, so that direction. Um, and then I have the cattle guard there I can drive over to get in here. And I really enjoy it. So, yeah, definitely worth the time to do that. That was amazing. But that walkthrough gate over here, definitely worth doing too. I'm really enjoying that. Uh, so yeah, I will put in a 
a different cattle guard. I'm going to build a new one, and then I'm going to continue the pipe over to that cattle guard eventually. Who knows when? Something I never show is my knife making stuff, and I don't know, someday I'll show it. But, uh, not at the moment. I don't know, these are a few I'm working on right now. This is a little utility knife made out of a file. Uh, getting close to getting that thing done. Uh, this is a knife. Didn't come out quite like I envisioned, but hold it this way. Whoosh, yeah! Um, little throwing knife I was just playing with. That's not even close to done. Just started on it. And my bushcraft knife I'm building. Unfortunately, I warped the blade when I heat treated it. So maybe I can get that bent back out. But that's going to be my bushcraft knife, as I said, with uh, black walnut handles. Something like that. So, I do work on knives in my spare time. It's a interesting little hobby. I don't know. I never show that. That's just my time. That's for me. So, I just got done doing the edit for this video, and I realized I didn't have an ending in which I say, Thanks for watching, y'all. Hope you enjoyed the video. Blah, blah, blah. Sub share, sub like, subscribe. Um, anyway, uh, that's my favorite Russian that says that. Anyway, um, but when I was, but when I turned on the camera, I realized there's one more thing I want to talk about really quick, even though this video is too long, that these fluorescent lights, these T5 fluorescent lights, I have reduced light output already. Um, I put these in, in February of 2014. Well, I didn't put them in, hired it done. And yeah, uh, the summer already, I could tell in my videos that the light output is reduced because my cameras are getting grainy when I record. You can you can see it, and uh, I was like, why is this? Why are they grainy? You know, my camera is going bad, something like that. I mean, it shouldn't be because one of my cameras is brand new, and uh, I was like, this is doesn't make sense. So then I turned on a my LED spotlight that I used to use all the time for my videos, and lo and behold, the quality of the video came back to normal. I'm like, ah. So, reduced light output on these lights, really irritating me, because that was a lot of money to have these put in, and it looks like I'm going to be switching to LED after all. Yeah. Regret. Not happy. Hopefully I will be back really soon with a wood chipper video. I want to get back on that wood chipper so bad. And hopefully I will be back with an actual metal fabrication video, if not a wood chipper video then, instead of me talking to you. So, for those of you that like my vlogs, thanks for watching. And uh, hopefully I'll see you soon with a metal fabrication video. Bye!